All right, a quick denoiser shootout between the UAD C-Suite C-Vox and the Burdum denoiser on a track that I recorded outside of the booth and is rather noisy. So let's check it out. You're listening to The Dangerous Mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. Right, so C-Suite C-Vox, $349 runs in UAD, Burdum denoiser free. It's just a plug-in, does not run inside the UAD console, but you know. That's how it goes. We're going to check these out. So this is something I recorded at my desk outside of my booth with my 416. So check this out. This is kind of noisy. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone and some remain. Okay, so as you can hear, there is a lot of noise here. Right? There's a lot of environmental noise. There's even kind of like a high-pitched whine in there. There are places I'll remember. I'll There's, it's, it's buried, but you know what? It's, uh, it's in there. So that is like the sound that I would get if I was recording outside of the booth in my lightly treated office area. Okay? So let's uh, bring up... Uh, let's do Burdum Denoiser first. Okay? So, Burnham Denoiser is free, right? Gotta love that. Let's check this out. See how well this works. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put it on the default setting. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. Okay, not so great, really muffled. I have this uh, preset that I've made that seems to sound a little bit better on stuff. Um, so let's try that. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. Okay, it, it still sounds muffled, but it sounds better, but you're still hearing. There are places I'll remember all my Yeah, you're hearing a sound in here. Right, right in here, like this. So that I cannot take out at all. So that's the best I think I can do with Burdum Denoiser. What if I hold on? There are pla there are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. All right, well, I mean, it's a little bit better, but you still have, uh, it still sounds like crap. So you could EQ the living shit out of that and make it work, I guess, but uh, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if I could find the source of that uh, that noise, which actually may be, that may be the, uh, the fan that is uh, ventilating the booth. That may be what that hum is. So let's try Cvox. Let's see what Cvox does. All right, so here we go. Here's Cvox. All right, and Cvox is supposed to help you dampen your room as well as uh, kill the noise. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. That's not bad. Still a little bit of noise. You know, you would probably put a high-pass filter in there anyway to knock out some of that low end. Let's see. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. That's not bad. You, you hear a little bit of degradation in the high end, but it's not bad. Now, the ambience thing, I, I've never really figured out the ambience thing, so I think... I think that if I dial this up, there's more ambience allowed. Let me check this out. Hold on. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. So the ambience is really more of like an expander that is closing at the end of uh, the tail end of what it tracks as the signal. What's the room do? There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. Some forever, 
not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. Okay, don't like that. So this actually doesn't sound terrible. It is a 416, I'm right up on it. That's why it's really bassy, low-endy. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed. All right, you know what? That's not awful. I mean, that would be usable in in a number of instances. Not optimal, but uh, you know what? In a pinch, you could make that work. Some forever, not for better. Some have gone, and some remain. There are places I'll remember. And you know, you could always run it through an expander. You could always leave a little bit of that ambience in there. And All my life, though some have changed. That's not bad. You could do something usable with that. A little EQ on that, and you might be good to go. So anyway, well, all right. Well, I learned something today, and that is that uh, in a pinch, I could probably record something on my desk, 416, with C-Suite. And uh, it doesn't sound uh, perfect. But you know what? Not bad. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I had a second chance to demo uh, C-Suite CVox, and even though it's $349 and never goes on discount, it definitely performs much better than the free Burdum denoiser in this particular situation. So, something to think about. All right, what do you think? Let me know what you have on your mind. Anyway, happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm going to Get out of the booth and actually do some recreating today. So, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black.